Welcome to the Round 9 Waffle Wrap. We're covering off Round 9 as we lead into the state game this weekend. Uh, Subiaco hosted West Perth at Medibank Stadium in front of a healthy crowd. The game lived up to expectations with only one point separating the clubs at quarter time and two points at half time. The Falcons got to a three goal break in the third term after keeping the Lions goalless. Subi got themselves back in the game but in the end West Perth held on winning by 10 points and sneaking back into the top four. At Steel Blue Oval, Swan Districts hosted Claremont and it was the Tigers who were first out of the blocks and led by a goal at quarter time. Swan Districts kicked into gear, piling on seven goals to three to take a 23 point lead into the fourth quarter. Both teams traded blows in the final term and the highlights included this great one-handed grab from Tony Knott. In the end, Swan Districts were just too good and ran out winners by 26 points. At Lath Lane Park, Perth hosted Eastern Mantle in a game that was really important for both clubs. Uh, in a tight first half, both teams were, were right in it and Brad Dale Zeal continued his good form with an early goal. It was a tight third quarter and the Demons led by just four points at the final change. Brett Peake continued his strong form in front of goals, kicking his fourth in the last as the Sharks won by nine points. And finally at Bendigo Bank Stadium, Peel Thunder coming off a heartbreaking loss last week, hosted South Romano. By three quarter time, Peel had broken out to a 20 point lead and were desperate to finish off the game. Marlon Pickett showed some of his aerial magic with this screamer. But with a few late goals in the fourth, Peel put the margin beyond reach, recording their first win of the season and getting the much needed four points. Having a quick look at our Tribunal and Match Review panel results. Tribunal has been adjourned for this week and will be here next Thursday due to the state fixture this weekend. Match Review panel withdrew a charge, a front on contact charge against Anthony Morabito. Ashton Ham striking charge against Brady Gray from Peel. Uh, where he was found guilty of that and accepted the reprimand offered by the Match Review panel. Subiaco's Clancy Wheel, as mentioned before, is up on a striking charge. That will be heard next Tuesday. Our Amy Waffle Player of the Round this week goes to Aaron Black from West Perth, who had a great game amassing 29 disposals all over the ground and was instrumental in the contest as West Perth toppled league leader Subiaco. Our Powerade Colts Young Gun goes to the Sharks' Thomas Bennett, who was solid with 24 disposals, four tackles and a couple of goals as the Sharks won by six points. It's a big week for the form players of the competition with the squad being selected to head over to New South Wales to take on the NEFL, which is made up of teams from the ACT, New South Wales, Northern Territory and Queensland. We're expecting them to be a really strong group and Bill Monaghan and the coaching staff have had the team extremely well prepared for the challenge ahead. The game will be played at Blacktown in West Sydney, kicking off at 10am WA time. The game will be streamed live on the NEFL website and we'll also be providing regular updates through our Waffle social media sites. The Waffle's final team of 23 will be announced at the official jumper presentation tonight and fly out tomorrow afternoon. East Perth's Brendan Lee was named captain at training on Monday night. Talent Ames from Swan Districts and Perth's Paul Bevan were announced as vice captain. We asked Brendan what it meant to be leading his state. Yeah, definitely a big honour uh, to be named as captain tonight. So, uh, very happy man. Um, Bill actually asked me to come outside tonight and <laughs> wasn't quite sure if it was mean that I wasn't playing or what it was going to be, but no, very happy. Yeah, I think it's a privilege for, for anyone that, that plays for their state, um, especially with a proud history such as our state. So I think that you know everyone's really focused on backing up on last year's performance. Um, we had a really good win last year um, against the Vicks and we're trying to do the same this year. Uh, Waffle fans, uh, don't forget we've got Foxtel Cup on Tuesday the 27th of May. Bounce down 6.35pm Patterson Stadium, East Perth versus Norwood. For those punters that are wishing to come along, gate 26 will be open at 6pm. We've had some fantastic entries for our Waffle Selfies competition on the Facebook page and we encourage fans to continue sending picks from Waffle Games for a chance to win the ultimate Waffle Grand Final experience. This week's winner, winner is Megan Lindsay. For her pick of sons Seth and Jack at the East Perth versus Peel Thunder game at Bendigo Back Stadium, it's great to hear her little loyal royals don't miss a game.